I mean, how much better can it be? <laughs> Not only that, but I can shower at the same multitasking. time. Multitasking. I'm multitasking here with I write. <laughs> yeah. You can't stand up in this one though. We've got here, it's a three, six, S, S, W, S. It's a lot. This. Oh! I just went for a Jeep ride doing Jeep things, no doors, and then look at, look at her hair. <laughs> hey, Jeep hair. Don't, Don't care. care. <laughs> it's like literally standing on edge. On, yeah, that's, that's hilarious. What are we doing? Today, we are gonna do our favorite pastime, which is look at RVs at a local RV dealership, which is Town & Country RV in Clyde, Ohio. It's uh, closed, but that's perfect. It's perfect. They keep everything unlocked at this one, so you can actually go in and look at everything. Now, in the past, what have we done every time we've come here? What have you done? What have, oh, well, I walk over to that Circle K right there, and I buy a beer, and then we walk around and look at campers because I mean, it's just so it's it's just fun, more fun that way. So I guess before we do anything, we're going over there. I guess so. Just guy. Oh yeah, just buy like one giant. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's big. Got me a tiny. In a can. <laughs> got a tiny. So, as you can see, I got me my treat. Any guesses as to what Mike's treat is? Anyone? Ice cream. Ice cream. Chocolate. Well, I Oreo. figure that is big enough for the both of us. So, but that's not big enough for the both of us. This is just for me. Yeah. This is just, just mine. So you're requesting I share and you don't have to. Okay. Uh -huh. Gotcha. <laughs> Got it in my, my koozie. Oh, yeah. Now we're ready. We're ready look to look at, at, look at RVs. Yep. Something I've noticed is that they're getting a lot of inventory back. Yeah, it's actually really surprising. I mean, look at all of it. Do you want to look at first? How about we start at the top? Go to the Super C. Okay. Jayco Seneca. I like the paint job. I do. I like this paint job. 37 pounds. Welcome in. <laughs> Come on in. This is really open. Wow. Now there's bunks, but man, this is. Yeah. Open, open. Call it countertop space. Oh, opposing slides, that'd be why. Yes. Look how much walk space you have then. Probably like this much. <laughs> yeah, just a little narrow path and the slides are in. Yeah. It's a nice shower. No fantastic fan? No. Nope. Really? Not bad, yeah. This is nice. It is nice. I like uh, the colors too. I like the color of the floor where it's light but still dark enough to hide some dirt. Is there a washer dryer in there? There's probably a single. If it's there. There's. It's not there. It's prepped for it. Yeah. But it's not big enough for a stackable. You'd have to have a single washer dryer combo. I gotta have the stackable. I know, I like the stackable as well. But it is what it is. A lot of people have taken the bunks and they'll make it into kind of like a, a desk area if they want this space, but they don't have kids, kind of like us. So, I mean, that's something to consider as well. It's just not a lot of space because are you going to stack a bunch of cans and then it's going to fall out? You might put a one or two maybe boxes in here of like cereal, but then that's about it. This bunk area is really nice. We got some Class A's, got some Elante's, and then we got down here at the end of Precept. 36C. Slides are in. 
know, let's see what it's like with the slides in. Sometimes you gotta see that in hand, was I right? Yeah. Opposing slides, this is what you got. I'm gonna demonstrate for you. Like, you can go front like this, or you're gonna need to shimmy like this. Yeah, at least you can get through, though. I don't know if some people could, due to size or health, like maybe they can't bend that way. You know, it's, it's tight. The price on this one, 163 Man, we paid 140 something for the Super C pre-COVID. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a ton of seating in this thing. I would, oh, yeah. first thing I would want to do is remove this. Look at all this. I mean, if it was just Mike and I, we could remove that love seat and this dinette. And just have the theater seats because the TV comes up from right there. Right there. Yeah. But I... I do like seeing it with the slides in, though. I know. It is really nice because you don't get to see that almost ever. It's a single basin sink. It's not terribly deep. Probably about five inches or so. Maybe it's closer to six. Yeah, that is six. Oh, it's two. Oh, bath and a half. Bath and a half, yeah. So this is, looks like washer-dryer space. So it's a... Oh, okay, those drawers down there. So you'd have to have a combo in this one as well. Unless, you remove, unless you remove these drawers. And I don't think we're going to get back to the bathroom because I'd have to crawl over a mattress. Yeah. What do you think, Mikey? I like it. I've always, always wanted a Jayco Class A. I always have. Like that massive windshield. That's just crazy. It is really big. I will say that there's a ton of space up here, but I still am partial to a Super C layout. I don't think I'll ever get my Class A. <laughs> I really don't think I will. I don't want to say yes or no. It can go either way. I never really thought we'd have a Super C either. Right next to this precept is uh, an Alante Class A. Look how much shorter it is. You see that the back end of the precept is pretty much even with the front end of the Elante. And the precept just keeps going. <laughs> the Elante is like a step down right. from the precept. Yep. 29S. Did that door open hard or is it just me? No, it opened hard. Okay. Oh, it's got your favorite interior. Now, I don't mind this interior, but Mike hates it. I do not like the farmhouse interior. I like whiter, brighter in an RV, but I also really like the dark that we have in our race. I don't, I'm not in the middle ground. I'm not a fan of oaks. I don't like where the TV is I was at. just going to say, where's the TV? And there it is, like in the worst spot ever. So remove the dinette, build an entertainment, put the TV there. Yep, and yeah. be right across from the theater seats. Yep. Not bad countertop space. Couple of door. Oh, that's not a door. It's for a sponge. Okay, bathroom. Not a bad size for the bathroom. Uh-uh. I like the, the slidey door. Oh yeah, it's got the farmhouse style door. Okay. I'm a fan of the barn door style doors and pocket doors because they're a huge space saver in RVs. You don't have this swinging door that's in someone's way when you're trying to walk through. And they got the double fridge and it's Norcold so you're going to be able to use propane. That is nice. I This is one thing I wish we had in any of our RVs over the years, which we've never had a double. I just think it could fit so much more things we really shove things in ours bedroom's a little small but i can't say that ours and our nexus isn't we both have nightstands yeah and uh that's pretty much all that's really one of our little requirements is we both want to have a place to put our phone a cup of water things like that in the middle of the night this is a very large closet it has this oven teeny tiny oven. Do you miss having an oven? Yes and no. 
I would like it for the big meals that I do because then it's essentially having a double oven. But I really like the convection. It's really easy and it, ours works fabulously. So well, we paid six hundred dollars for our convection oven. Yeah, this is just a microwave. So this is your oven. This is your way to cook or bake, and it's it's fairly small. Would you like to have both the <laughs> propane oven and a convection? I would. If I were to get one, it would be one that's bigger than this, and this is a Furion. Uh, I don't really know if I trust that too much. Uh, I'm not a Furion fan at all. To me, anything Furion will just come out immediately. Yeah, that's kind of how he's operated for several years. But other than that, I mean, gosh darn it. They, why do they have two of these? <laughs> why? What's the, why? To put your remote. Yeah, apparently that's your remote holder. <laughs> and, and so is this. This is also your remote holder. But, um, that's a generator. Yeah. I like the floor color. I really wish they'd stop using this type stuff. It's not even textured in here. It looks textured, but it's not. Yeah. It's just... Eh. About 132. Man. I remember when these Elantes were about 99,000. Yep. Fresh is 72. Gray, 49. Black, 50. Black is bigger than the gray. That's a no-no. <laughs> Don't do that. Come on, RV manufacturer. But the fresh 72 is pretty good. Yeah, but the gray is going to fill up like that. People taking showers, doing dishes. I'll, that stuff is what fills up the gray. No one's going to fill up the black faster than the gray unless you got some problems. It's a van. These things are so expensive. They are. And they're so small. It'd be perfect for a single person, maybe. I, I mean, a couple like us would be good for, but I mean... Maybe a cat, probably, or maybe a small dog. It Can probably you... is best for a single person. Or someone shorter than 6'2". Uh, yeah. This <laughs> reminds me of uh, Airstream. The way it these... does. I feel like they've been stealing that from Airstream. It's, oh, 100 and, I'm going to call it 110. 10. Fresh, 27. Gray, 14, 5. Black, 13. It's got... Okay, that's not bad. Kind of like that. And then this is sink. your sink. Way under there. Yeah. Yeah, bathroom. Yeah. Oh, it's got that open concept we like. <laughs> you can <laughs> just open can the back doors. Open the back doors, and you can just be with the world while you do your business. <laughs> Way to be out in nature. I mean. How much better can it be? <laughs> Not only that, but I can shower at the same multitasking. time. Multitasking. I'm multitasking here. Got my shower shower beer. And these just pull right off that way. Whew. Welcome everyone. <laughs> Please come in. <laughs> Comment below if you want to watch a hottie go potty. <laughs> oh my God. It's small, but you go literally anywhere. I actually like it better than I thought I would. So now we're gonna go to some fifth wheels. Wow, Mike stole my beer. It's getting warm. Notice to say I did not get any of his ice cream. I offered. <laughs> it's a three six S S W S. It's a lot. Yes. It's I don't know if letters. the I don't know if the N1RU is part of that or not, but if so, that's a lot. Oh man, you're gonna like this. <gasps> oh, oh, so pretty. That's nice. And I bet you this is convection. <gasps> it is. Yep. I am a fan of the kitchen. And it only comes at 98 nine. 100 grand. Sign My goodness. But for a fifth wheel, it still has only 75 fresh, 87 gray though, and then 50 black. That's pretty good. That's not terrible. That's pretty good. I like the sink. Yeah, the sink is really nice. I also like the uh, theater seating and this setup because it's easily, like it doesn't take up a ton of space like the booth. 
Well, CD. this has an unloaded vehicle weight. 14,240 pounds. I would need a bigger truck. Well, I would think so. It's also almost 40 foot long. It's Whoa. 39. Dang. A lot of people like, they fall in love with the floor plan, not thinking of maneuverability. Look up there. Oh, dang. <laughs> okay, so. 40 feet's not so bad. We can get oh, a dually. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Check this bathroom out. The shower has a, a seat for anyone who wants to just sit down and take a load off. <laughs> You know, I gotta say, for what you pay for this, it's really not that bad. But you have to include the price of probably a dually diesel truck. Right. Yep. <clears throat> this is a very nice um, bathroom. Oh, I will yeah? give that. Oh, yeah. This is like what people like us would enjoy because we're just single. We're a couple, you know. You don't have all the family stuff that it's needs to. It's kind of like what you buy when you're retired. <laughs> yeah. But we buy it in Florida. Yeah. But look, you got a, a fireplace. You got all this space up here. This is nice. It's kind of like your little escape. Yeah. Not bad. Now, are they missing nightstands? Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah, well, there's, there's this nightstands. little, like, corner right by where your yeah. head goes. There's one on the other side, too. Little ledges. That's, like, right where your face could be. I don't think I like that. But that's a king bed, right? Yeah. I'm sure if you, uh, if you it looks a, like a king. If you were the queen, it'd be more yeah more narrower. Probably I would an option. Yeah, I would like to ha maybe have one that has a king sometime, but I would too. I could deal with those little things in the corners versus yeah. nightstand. I actually like this layout. Not bad at all, and it's got the uh, the four door refrigerator freezer. Not bad at all. This one's a win winner. Yeah. It's on the outside of the same fifth wheel. With this big space in there. It's massive. I mean, we could both easily get in there. Oh, it's got the road vac. So it's got the built-in vacuum system. That's nice. This is why the bedroom looks so big because you've got a bedroom slide. And you oh, slide yeah. In the slide. slide in the slide. All right, what are we going to see next, Mikey? This is an Eagle HT fifth wheel. Look how small it is. It's tiny. What's the number on it? Um, Let's see. It's Let's... a 24RE. Okay, so this is just a little guy. Okay. It's quite cozy, snug. The back to the wood paneling. I, do, I like this floor plan. Guess the length. 28 feet. You're very close. 29 foot, 1.75 inches. Like, it's basically 29 feet. Yeah. This. Oh! Pantry. You are cheating. I did cheat. You knew about this one, didn't you? I've seen the floor plan of this one online. Okay. I just haven't seen it so in person. So this is a walk-in pantry. Now we be talking. I figured if anything would sway you on this floor plan, <laughs> it's the pantry. That's, you know me well. You might need some lights in here. Oh, I see a one. light. There's one right here. Yeah, there's a light right the power's there. power's off, but looks like it might be a motion light too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's nice. I... I'd like that a lot. Fireplace, so TV's in a good location, got theater seats. This one's got everything I need. Let's buy it. How about, no. <laughs> it's not bad, but. Mm. So this, What well, was the price on this one? Let's, let's have a look-see. I don't think I looked at that. 49.9. That's not. Terrible. Fifty thousand dollars. Not bad. For, What's the? Uh, do they have the unloaded vehicle weight and all that on there? Yeah, the unloaded vehicle weight is eight thousand one hundred and seventy-seven pounds. That's pretty good. I mean, it's it's HT, so it probably is comes around ten thousand pounds when it's loaded. Your truck could tow it just fine, I'm sure. Oh, 
without a doubt. Yeah. I don't mind this. It's got one like bench and then two chairs. So that's that's doable. And this is obviously a, a leaf that folds out. Ghost vehicle weight rating, 9,995 pounds. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Not a not a huge fan of the kitchen layout. You got the separated sinks. Eh. Got it. At least the, the oven is still Furion, but it's bigger. This needs to be convection. Now that I've had one, I must always have one. <laughs> must have convection. Not bad. I do like this and it's textured. It's not like wallpaper. So I do like that. Heading up the stairs. Oh, they actually like painted a color on the cabinet. It's blue. Yeah, it's different. That's a little different, yeah. Not bad. The fan is different. Something that I noticed is the bed seems like it sits real low in here, which would be good for Guy because Guy's getting up there in age. Normally, if we catch him trying to get on the bed, we help him. We're going to have to build you a ramp. <laughs> I'm getting too old for that. You're scaring me. Okay. I mean, it's not a terrible bedroom. No, it's not. And it's got the prep for hmm. washer dryer. Yeah. Oh, and it's got opening to the bathroom. Yeah. You can put your laundry basket right there. If you didn't have a washer dryer right there and you could just have a laundry chute basically yeah you can't stand up in this one though oh uh, i can yeah but you're hit you're gonna have neck problems if you're a tall person you'll be fine in the living space in the kitchen just up in the bedroom will be a will be a squeeze i like this one yeah we're now entering the realm of travel trailers. There's a lot of them. There Pretty much is. everything on the left over here is all used and everything right. Came across this White Hawk. Yeah, there's a light, lightweight door. Oh, it's got the table. Okay. And it, yeah, it comes with a griddle. Yep. Okay, so we got a 27 RK. Which means rear kitchen, and it does. Oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. This is a slide over here. So when that slide is closed, you're probably going to be blocked up from the fridge, the stove, the sink. Yeah, but it's 40,000, 41. Yep. It's uh, 6,912 pounds unloaded. 32 feet, 10 inches in length. So it's not too long for most people. Most people are kind of looking for that low 30s range. Yeah, it's not bad. It's 55 gallons of fresh, 61 gray, and 30 black. Hmm, not bad. No. It does have something that we are fans of. If you see the TV right here, right across from it is the theater seating. So that's nice. I, I hate the placement of the TV in our motorhome. I hate it. I know. I mean, as much as we absolutely love our Nexus Wraith and we are going to keep it, there's things we still want to change about it. Yeah, and we've actually been talking about those things a little bit more often, so you may be yeah. seeing some changes coming to the interior. Maybe. We have to see. We're just going to involve some uh, cabinet building. Some carpentry. Yeah, some carpentry. Luckily, I know a couple. <laughs> fireplace look at this big old mirror though i mean i can have my own little fashion show it's pretty it's a pretty big mirror i like it how's that bathroom it's, it's kind of the small side but it's totally doable okay yeah it's doable you got decent storage okay yeah even has a medicine cabinet in there so that's now okay. this window up here people have said that it's kind of like a greenhouse where it makes it super hot in here oh yeah that's right or on the opposite end of the spectrum super, super cold. cold i don't know i don't know that i would do winter camping in uh white hot yeah i don't know either i don't think personally i would without a bunch of modifications right but. i mean that's one of the reasons why we got what we have is because we wanted to do more winter camping, which you, if you haven't seen, we do a lot of that. So yeah, our motorhome 
And we, we searched and searched and searched. We were that close to buying a Jayco Precept Class A. But then we found the Nexus Wraith and the, the Precept is not winter ready. No. Not even close to being winter ready. Whereas Nexus, what they built, uh, it's opened up our camping season to all 12 months. And we live up north. Yes. Where it snows. We've camped in zero degree <laughs> weather multitude of times and we've done it successfully so yeah i mean if somebody's in like texas or southern florida or something like that or california and they hear us say oh we can camp year round now they're like whoop de do <laughs> <laughs> what'd you think it was a good day to go shop around I, window shopping yeah it's always a lot of fun that's something that we've always enjoyed doing do you guys enjoy looking at RVs as much as we do? We actually have no intention of trading. It's just we just like to look, see what's new, yeah. latest and greatest. Out of what we looked at today, what was your favorite? Yeah, let us know in the comments. I Comment know, below. Was. Hmm. What was it? Precept. <laughs> I was kind of thinking the precept, but I almost thought it might have been the Super C. But I will get my Class A Jayco. Someday. It'll be the death of me. Keep hearing this. But I think for now, we are going to get on out of here. Maybe go grab some lunch. Yeah. yeah. I apologize for the road noise. It's right against the. Yeah, it's right on a U.S. route. So we apologize. We're doing the best we can. So until next time, see ya. See ya. Five window doors, tops out. And we thought, wow. The sky is getting awfully dark up there. And then we start to notice the raindrops. It's starting to rain on us. Not looking good. Not good at all. <laughs>